So now that we've created our fades functionality, our stop clips, and our scene launcher functionalities, I want to show you how to create a stop function, which is a sim essentially the same way you do stop clips and scene launch. So what we'll do is hit Command Shift T, another MIDI track, rename this to stop. And then we'll create another MIDI clip here by double clicking, <clears throat> do IAC driver, channel 3. We'll go ahead and use C1 since it's on a different channel. And then we'll just map this. We'll just click this. So it's looping, and we'll come up here to the stop. I'll hit uh, Command M, click the stop, and get out of there. So what this is going to do is send a MIDI note to launch to uh, stop Ableton altogether. And the reason I'm setting this up here is if you had different scenes that were controlling different things, different elements or different uh, tracks, you could have it stop after a certain amount of measures. So like after 180 measures you can set this note to stop Ableton. Um, and I also have it set up this way so that if you have like a MIDI controller, like a MIDI foot controller and you want to assign a stop you would assign it, you can assign it here to this scene since this is already taken, but you can assign it here on a scene. So basically this would be an abrupt stop, but I'll show you, like we could fade it out. So if this is faded in, playing, and you launch this scene, it would just stop Ableton. And this fade, this particular pad has a natural fade out and fade in, but for other audio stuff, it could just cut that audio out. So what you could do is set this stop up at the end of the fade out. And so this fade out, this fade is two measures long. Actually, this is going to launch another scene. So what we'll do is. Turn this loop off, bring this to four measures. So at measure three, we're going to have this stop Ableton. So we'll just run scene one. Here's our pad in C that fades in. This scene will fade out and launch the next scene. Then at measure three, it'll stop. There you go. That's how you set up a stop function in Ableton. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Let me know.